Hi everybody, welcome to Go Hobby. I thought I'd put a little video together reviewing my dirt bike helmets. Both of these are made by O'Neill and both are 2021 models. This one here is the 3 Series Attack 2.0, costs about $110. This one here is the 2 Series Spidey model and it comes in at about $100. These helmets are really comfortable, the price point is right, and they provide plenty of safety for your head. So let's take a closer look at some of the features here. Both of them have adjustable visors. I like the fact that both have this sort of recessed channel to maintain the strap of your goggles, it keeps it in place. Both are DOT approved. Both have removable liners and padding that buttons in or snaps in. It can remove, be removed in just a matter of minutes so that you can wash the padding after each use, which is a nice thing to be able to do on those hot, sweaty days. Both have a double D-ring both have a double D-ring strap here on the bottom. Now the venting, some of the venting is functional and some of it is not. The mouth guards are functional. The vent here on the side of the Spidey is non-functional. These vents don't really go anywhere. There's no venting along the jawline of uh, the attack model. On the Spidey model, there are some small functional vents along the top here but the uh, vent holes leading into the helmet are really only about the diameter of the pencil, so you're not gonna get that much of venting. There's some venting here. I believe these are just mostly visual because I can't really find where they open up on the inside of the helmet. Now looking at the, uh, the attack model here, uh, there is um, some vents here along the back, but again, those are pretty much all covered up by padding and plastic bits on the inside, so I can't imagine those are gonna be very functional. And um, there are some vents on the top, but as far as I could tell, they don't seem to be open to the inside. So I believe those are just visual. Now the brow vents are functional, and uh, they're functional on both helmets. I don't recall if I talked about that on the Spidey model, but there they are functional on both. And of course, the uh, mouth guards, the venting there is functional on both as well, as you might imagine. All right, so take a look at the sizing chart here from O'Neill. My head is exactly 58.5 centimeters. So that puts me smack dab between size medium and size large. People tell you to always size down, right? Because you want the helmet to fit really snug you don't want the helmet wobbling around on your head. Well, I ended up with both of these sizes actually because uh, you know I'm not the only person that rides dirt bikes in my house and I actually got the medium for uh, my, my teenagers and I got the large for myself. So I didn't exactly follow that rule about sizing down and let's, let's see how these fit. Now again, this is a size medium. My head is 58.5 centimeters. When you put on a dirt bike helmet, it should go on with some difficulty. You should feel some pressure. You should feel the cheek pads pushing against your cheeks like they are. It is gonna give you a little bit of a fish face effect. And yes, I do have to concentrate a little bit more while I'm talking on this video because it's trying to push my cheeks around. Let me strap this up and just give you my official opinion about this. Well, here it is all strapped in. I have to say this feels pretty good. Size medium, feels secure, not too tight, where that you know would lead to a headache or some sort of discomfort. Remember, you don't want a dirt bike helmet to be wobbling around. It should be nice and snug, not uncomfortably snug, but just snug, definitely not loose. Yeah, I think, this, I think the size medium is going to work really well for me, but let's try the large and just compare. All right, well, that seemed that seemed just as difficult to get on as the attack model. So far, I mean, it feels nice and snug. Let me get it strapped up and I'll give it the shape test. 
All right, I got it all strapped in now. Feels really good, actually. I, I, honestly, it doesn't feel any bigger than the medium. I was really expecting it to, to be noticeably different. It almost felt like it was even more difficult to slip on. All right, you know, when I shake around, I do feel a little bit of movement in there. Not much, just a little bit. But the thing to, to remember is that with time, this padding is going to be crushed down a bit more. It's going to get looser with more use, right? So I actually think, I think the size medium is going to be better for me. I'm really kind of surprised by that. But yeah, I think I think I could probably get away with wearing this for a little while. But once that padding crushes down, if it crushes down too much, I think this might begin to get too loose for me. All right. Well, that's my honest opinion and my thoughts about these helmets. If I said anything that you think is useful, please like the video. Please take the time to subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time on Go Hobby. All right. Well, I don't know if I can get myself out of this thing. I feel like an astronaut.